First pitch, Reeves crushes one into left center field. They're gonna send around Williams. The throw will not be in time, and Sarah Reeves will give the middle women a one nothing lead. But McGill caught in a pickle, she'll dive back safely. So everybody's safe as the senior Reeves claps her hands and celebrating over on first base. And I know that, you know, from a Sarah Reeves, you know, I know her so well that she's going to jump on that first pitch that she sees every single time. She's not going to get down. Who wants to be down again against a great pitcher like Jen Mino? Mino, and that's you know, the one through five, the batters right now. So I think she's just going to let them try to rip away. 0-2 pitch. McGill puts one through the left side of the infield. We're going to send around the freshman, Matthew, and she will be safe. An RBI single by Kylie McGill puts the minute woman up two to nothing as McGill will advance over to second on the throw. Norman in over to third. Comes on back as Ford sets. 2-2 two -two pitch swinging, hitting one deep into left field. Libby goes back at the wall and makes the catch. And once again, UMass gets themselves out of a jam. Michelle Libby with a nice catch up against the fence. And after five and a half, it's still 3 nothing Minute Women. You're watching the Atlantic 10 Softball Championship game. So we'll see if Ford gets a better result on this 3-2 count. She walked Pawekio. Lebovic is at third. Pawekio on second. Runners don't mean anything, just right now get the batter. 3-2 the count to Aaron Fisher. Ford looks in, 3-2 pitch, swung on a chopper to Williams. Williams to her knees, throws the first in time for the out. And UMass will force the if game. UMass wins the game, three to nothing. A shutout for Sarah Ford as she gives up seven hits. 2-2 pitch, Reeves crushes one, straight away center field, it's gone! It clears both fences, an absolute missile off the bat of Sarah Reeves as she continues her torn pace in the Atlantic 10 tournament. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even handle this right now, Matt. I've never seen someone just hit so many home runs in the past two days. And the, the funny thing about it, and I don't even mean to laugh, but Aaron Fisher in center field, she just stood there and watched the ball go. She didn't even attempt. Mino's pitch, Libby crushes one. You can kiss that one goodbye. Minute women with the lead, two to nothing. The seniors coming up huge. Sarah Reeves and then Michelle Libby and UMass has the lead, two to nothing. You know, you can't say anything more about this senior class today and this whole weekend basically as Michelle Libby just steps in and croaks one into center field. Part of the batter. She swings and puts a charge into that one, and it's gone! The third home run in this one for the middle women. Megan Carter puts up UMass three to nothing on the first home run that's gone out to left field today. My God, I've never seen Megan Carter in my life so excited. She is not the type of player that gets very animated out there, and she is just out of her mind right now. I've never seen her this pumped up. We have, I've never seen some of these girls there's some of these girls are so mentally level, like they always stay in the middle, and I've never seen some of these girls so pumped up right now. Fisher struck out, swinging. Her first at bat. Pitch is swung on and crushed. See ya. 3-1 the score as Aaron Fisher puts her hands up in the air as she hits her 15th home run. 51 RBIs on the season for Aaron Fisher as she comes around the base path. Pitch, Carta crushes into center field, and it's going to be off the wall. Delvecchia will score. Storo going to third. An RBI double for Megan Carta puts UMass up 4-1. to one. Infield will play into Williams as she swings, hits one high into center field that Fisher's under. Will it be far enough to score Storo? The throw is not in time as Storo gets her hand in there first. 
sacrifice fly for Whitney Williams, and UMass now with the lead, five to one. Normandan swings and hits one into left center field. Andrews with her arm up, crosses the plate. Norm's gonna go for three. The throw won't be there, an RBI triple for Carly Normandin. UMass now with the lead, six to one. Deuce is wild on the pitch to McGill as she crushes one, and that ball's gone! A two-run home run by Kylie McGill puts the Minute Women up eight to one. And the bombs just keep coming for the Minute Women. I you can't you cannot say anything more about the offense right now from the UMass Minute Women as they're just crushing anything they pretty much see over the plate right now. Pitch by Plort is swung on, hit deep into left center field. Norman and Libby go back, and it's gone. Erin Fisher with her 16th home run of the season, her second in this one, and it cuts the lead to eight to three. Fisher just crushed that one to left center field. And you know, she's she's one of those type of kids that you can tell, you know, I don't want to sit here and waste my at-bats away. You know, I, you know, I want to keep playing. Three balls and one strike after the conference is over with between Plourd and Carta. Pitch is swung on and crushed into left center field. Normandin with a diving catch. What a play by the senior from Gardner, Mass. And I honestly, Matt, not to sound too confident, but I don't really expect anything less from her because she is so fast. She's such a great outfielder. She covers so much ground that that's a catch that, you know, we have seen her make before in the past, but that was just an exceptional time to make this catch right now. And three years of Carly Normandin manning center field. Lindsay K. Bright at first. 3-2. Two outs. 8-3 UMass lead. Pitch is swung on. Foul territory. Benincourt under it, and Benincourt will make the catch. And UMass has won the 2010 Atlanta 10 Championship 8-3 over Fordham. UMass have to come out of the loser's bracket to win this one, Whitney. What an unbelievable way. You know, even though you probably wanted the strikeout just then to end the game, you have a you know, pop fly to Kay Bancourt, who's one of the most passionate players on this team, raises their arms in victory, and they all surround each other and come out from the dugout. The three coaches for UMass, Elaine Sortino, Jessica Merchant, and Christy Stefanoni, all with hugs for each other as UMass gets the victory, 8-3, to three, as the team continues to celebrate.